He said it. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Kini nga part sa gospel, mauling kanunay ginagamit sa mga pari nga mga babae nga gina-ordained. One of their bases why thou, Christ, allowed women to be ordained as priest. Tungod kay, ang babae daw kuno ang una nakadiscover kang Jesus and Jesus told Mary Magdalene to go to the brother. But, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus was not telling or instructing, instructed Mary Magdalene to preach to the brother. Jesus just told her to go and tell them what uh, what had happened or what she witnessed. So, it was not actually Mary Magdalene gina ingnan ni Christ to preach, but instead to tell it to the brothers, especially to Peter and the rest of the apostles. My son, don't you know, as I speak to thee today, there are billion, one point something billion of people who don't believe about the death of Christ, about the uh, resurrection of Christ. They don't believe in that. In fact, kini sila nga mga sekta. They are next to Christianity kadaghan sa tibuo kalibutan. And according to their Quran, it was made appeared to them that Jesus was crucified, but he was not actually crucified. He is rescued by his father. And it was Judas Iscariot who was crucified. It was not Jesus. Therefore, Jesus never died on the cross. And those people, kana ng mga tawana, they are second to Christian in number. There are billion of them, one point something billion of them are convinced and deceived by the devil because the devil doesn't want us to know that Jesus really died. Because if we would know that Jesus died, then that is the defeat of the devil. Christ died, death on the cross was the exorcism of, of, of the entire universe. The entire cosmos was been cleansed and restored by the blood of Jesus. And that very truth, gusto na siya taguan ni Lucifer, ni Satan. And as much as possible, kita mga Christian, dili ta magka-unite. And as much as possible, the people of Israel will not return to their own land. Because usana siya ng mga prophecy, mga indication that the second advent of Christ will happen. And the devil, with all their might, doesn't want that to happen. And there are billions of them next to Christianity in number. Believe that it was Judas Iscariot being crucified. Christ never died. Therefore, Christ never risen from the dead. But we Christian believe. And their book has been debunked and confronted that how come that this certain God named Allah and Muhammad nga deceived for 600 years because Quran was been written 600 years after Christ. And all of a sudden, he would declare that after 600 years, he would declare that this Bible and this Jesus never crucified. It's not truth. It has been made appear to them that it seems crucified, but in reality was not. So who would asa tamtoo? The Bible, the apostles, the people who were able to witness, eyewitness the crucifixion of Jesus, or this certain stupid, foolish man who appeared after 600 years, who was choked by the devil because he was not able to read and write, and possessed by certain Gibriel, unable to prophesy and self-declared prophet, 
and begin to kill Christian and Jews. Asaman tamo to. But of course, there are some people, many will be deceived. And that book, that certain Quran, is the pure Antichrist. Kung mangita pa tag Antichrist karon nga. Antichrist is the Pope, Antichrist is Joel Austin, Antichrist is Obama or Biden. No! Next to Christianity number. They oppose the Jews and the Christians and kill them literally. Mangita pa tag Antichrist. So on our hope is the risen Lord, the risen Christ. Jesus said to Mary, Mary, go, tell to the brothers. I do not touch me, Mary, for I have not yet come to the Father and your Father, to our to my God and your God. My son, God the Father is our Father, and God, uh, God in heaven is our God. He is our Father. That's why we can call him Abba Father or Father God. Say nga, Father na God pa, God na Father pa. And that is the good news. That is our hope. Kaya kung wala na banhaw si Kristo, I cannot imagine kung asa takaron. But hallelujah, Christ is risen indeed. Please stand.